Hello and welcome. Today something a bit different. I'm gonna actually play a game made by a different designer on BGG. Uh, his name is, I hope I'm not gonna butcher it, it's Matthew Denton. I hope that's right. And uh, I'm gonna show you the game, although with one warning, uh, Matthew has uh, still didn't provide any uh, images for the, uh, for this game they are basically just a very simple print and plain like black and white uh, using only icons and text completely simple what i did i took his uh, cards and uh, put some images done the design like i i make it a bit nicer as you can see already on the screen uh but only for my purpose so this doesn't mean the game's going to look like this in the end i mean that's that's on him uh, also, I made some mistakes because his icons are on top of the card, which means uh, that when you play uh, cards, you play them in, in columns. While I kind of didn't see that when I was, uh, you know, reading the rules how the game is played. So my game is actually, not my game, his game, but my representation of his game is actually played in rows. And so that's the only uh, different thing, which means the top card in my representation of the of this game is basically leftmost card because that's the first card in a row uh the game is not finished yet it is like work in progress so this playthrough will not be showing the exactly how the game is played because he's gonna he already told me he's gonna change some cards and some things maybe some actions gonna work differently but uh as a fellow designer, my job is to check other people's games because we are together in the contest for the war game contest on BGG. And I'm playing this to give him a feedback. So I'm gonna play a solo game. It's a it can it is basically a competitive game for two players, but I couldn't find the second player, so I'm gonna play the solo mode. Uh, here I have uh, his rule book. If I because I'm new to the game also, I I played a bit. I think I got the grasp on it but I'm not 100% sure and we'll see so the first trip I can on the rule book some things are kind of um, ambiguous I'm, I'm not so sure about some things so the rule book is not uh, it's okay but not that good okay so that's first complaint but if I play this correctly maybe maybe just me maybe I didn't read it good because you know uh, English is not my first language, so I kind of struggle with English a bit, so we'll see. He's gonna be a final judgment <laughs> of that. Anyway, game components are on the table. We have two decks. Oh, by the way, I need to talk what this game is about. It's basically about uh, war in Algeria in 1954-62. to 62. It's a decolonization war where some political faction, uh, well, the French were losing its colonial grasp on the Algeria. Uh, some political faction became insurgents and you know war came in they want independence and uh, banished the French from from their country and this is what this game is about I'm gonna play as uh, when you're playing solo you always playing as the FLN uh, that's a, a political organization it's called Front of Liberation Nationale I think that's on French my French is also not that good, but FLN, I'm going to play Insurgents, and the French is going to be Automa, and uh, I'm going to explain the rest as we go. As components, as I said, two deck of cards, uh, some cards are used to represent these fronts where you we are fighting, we're fighting military, diplomatic and politically, so you, you have to win at least in two of those fronts, or all of them. There is a graveyard in prison. Graveyard is kind of, I don't understand it. I guess it's just to keep your cards neatly, maybe to check how many people died during the conflict. I don't know, is it needed? It could be just a discard, but it's there. It's kind of thematic, I guess, so. And some dice, which I put in the colors of uh, Algerian flag. All right, so first I set up I need to make uh, three fronts, military, diplomatic, and political. So, in the Matthews version, they should be like this, representing top down, like columns. But in my version, because I messed up the icons, I will have to play it like this in rows. So, I'm gonna put military. Actually, let's put like this. 
political front, diplomatic front, and military is the last one. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And I'm going to play cards here in a row from left to right for French or for myself. Now let's make a bit more spacing like that. I can even put some lines here so you know where the front is. Graveyard is going to be here. Prison goes to the uh, French side because they can actually capture. Well, let's put it here. And I'm going to shuffle the French deck close to the prison. These cards will be here. And let's push this a bit down actually like this. Set aside dice. This is my deck. I'm going to shuffle it and place it here, close to me. This card will be on, on my left. And let me draw you those lines so you know which front is which. So this is here. Uh, okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh. So political front is here, diplomatic front is here, and military is all down here. Okay. So I'm I will be playing cards from left to right. All right. So me as a FLN, I'm gonna draw, we start with drawing five cards into your hand, and this is my starting hand. Uh, your cards consist of the supporters, events, and uh, agents. And each of these cards have some icons on them. I'm going to explain them. Uh, the, also, they differ than the icons in the rule, bo rule book because I made some of my own. Uh, I'm thinking they were much more uh, thematic. But as I said, this is just my version, so take it with a grain of salt. All right, so what we have here is each card has... Uh, a little box on the left telling you on which front you can play them. Like these supporters can be played on any front. While well, this is just for the diplomatic front. And once I play, I, when I, I, me as a front of uh, Liberazione Nazionale, I, I can play uh, face up or face down because I'm insurgent, I can hide. If I play my cards face up, I can do an action from a card if I wish. I can do one or two action depending how many icons there or I can just forfeit both of action if I don't want to do them but usually you want to play these actions and on the right side is the region number of the region where they uh, where these units or agents are, are and that's come into play when you're bombing something now the French has a different set of action some of them are similar but some of them are different French can like uh, get you in prison uh, they have an up on strike bombing while I while I can bomb stuff. Uh, what else they can do? They can also uncover your engines when they face down. While I have some different st things I can do. And uh, how do you win the game? Well, as I already said, either you at the end of the game where all cards are played, either you get like wins in two of these fronts, or ca game can actually end immediately. If uh, if one player has eight or more icons more than you in one of the fronts, now what what we're looking for is these icons. So the more icons you have, and cards and icons basically have in some front, the more uh, you're gonna win that front. So like if I have a six icons and my enemy has a three at the end of the game, I won that front. Eventually, some of these cards will be in prison, some will be killed. Some will be removed by some other means. You'll see how that works. All right, so let's see what I have here. I have these supporters that give me one icon. They can be played in any side right now. I have these supporters that give me three icons. This is pretty good. So I'm going to probably start with this one. I'm going to play it face down. And let's start a diplomatic. Let's play it into, into the diplomatic front. And that's it. Once I either play all my cards, I can get more cards. There are some icons like this one. These diplomacy icons, uh, you can see like a handshake, give me ability to draw a card from, from the top. So I can get some cards if I play this uh, face up. Anyway, uh, it is the French to play. Uh, and it's quite simple, you play the first card from the top. 
In this case, it is a French agent. He's going to go to the political front here. And he's going to do his action, and, that, and that's uncovering two of my cards. So this action can be uh, played in any front, but I'm going to show you how the automa actually work. It says, uh, targets for exposing FLN cards. Topmost card in its front. So if there is a topmost card here, he would expose it. No, so we jump down. Card in front with the most cards. Well, uh, my guess is most cards mine most cards. So I'm guessing it's going to go here. So these are the, some ambigu ambiguities I'm not actually sure about. Like card in front with the most cards. Uh, we are kind of same. I guess it could be random, but in this case I only have one card, so I guess it's just going to uncover these supporters. So. And that's it. He has another action he can do, but that's basically, again, uncovering supporters, so nothing else happened. All right, it's back to me. I think I'm going to play this card in the Diplomacy. Here, yeah, so I already have like four of these. And by the way, these little icons uh, are used for the tiebreaker. So if we have the same amount of icons, whoever has the most of these rally icons wins that front. So I'm going to play this FLN agent face up because I want to draw a card. I'm going to use that action, draw a card, and that's it. And then French. French event. So these events go to the discard, so I'm going to keep them here. Uh, and you just execute the event actions and that's it. This is constantly in plan. So the first icon, again, he would expose some of my cards, but that's already done. And then this other action is recruit. So the AI of the game is going to draw two cards. And when you're recruiting, you choose one card to play with the actions and, and the other card goes on the bottom. And you choose for the AI by taking the most useful icons. So you can see here it's written card with the most usable ac action icon. So most usable, like with this one, he can imprison both of my guys. Uh, so I would say this is the most usable action. With this one, he can kill one of my guys and he can uh, expose one. So this is not like only one of the actions. So I guess this will go on the bottom and Automa will imprison. Uh, that, this is actually another event, so it goes to this card. And right from the start, I'm using Diplomatic Front because two of my guys go to the prison. I'm going to put them like this. And they are in prison. All right. Bad start for me. So, let's see. This is political. Two icons there. So let's... Uh, play a bit slow. I want to draw some more cards, that's for sure. But I'm going to play this Franz Fanon. I'm going to play him face down here in the, his uh, political, so he will go here. So now we are tied. Normally other player wouldn't know, but uh, I'm playing against the AI, so other player never knows how many icons you have, so that's why he probably won't expose you. But now we are tied. He has a two action, I have a two action. And I'm winning a tie right now because I have this rally icon there. All right, back to French. French Asian go to diplomacy here. And this means he is going to get another card. Now for the automa, this means he's just going to, it's like a search, he's just going to play another card. Oh, this also goes to diplomacy. And then another surge. All right, French agent go to the military. And then he can expose and arrest. So I'm guessing that's going to happen here. He's going to expose this guy and he goes to prison also. Oh, wait. Uh, if I remember correctly, now the timing is crucial here. Once I'm exposed, I can do my actions, and I think I can do them before other actions are done here. Let me just check that quickly. Flip up the two face down, following cards face up. 
the following player resolves the action on the new flip card as if they are playing it from their hand. Now let me check about the timing here. Uh, when the French player takes an exposed action, flips the face down cards, face up, this can happen multiple times. So I'm guessing timing is on my side, so I'm going to do my actions first. So I can draw a card, and rally doesn't mean nothing for me, so he goes to prison. But at least uh, I managed to draw a card. Wow, I'm losing a lot on all fronts right now. Uh, this is the event I'm gonna play it. It's even right. Accords is gonna give me ability to draw two more cards. And then for the French, French agent, he goes to political. He wanna expose someone, but there are no my cards in on right now on the board. Oh. Okay, this is interesting, but to use that completely. All right, so I'm going to try to do military stuff. I'm going to play, uh, let me see actually. I'm going to play this uh, Ali La Pointe here, face up, because I want to use these actions. And this means I can attack the card. And if I remember correctly, they just uh, kill a card. Remove the top card from one of the of your opponent's front only if it is face up or remove any card in prison. Alright, so I guess French would can kill people in prison too. But me, I actually wanna destroy this guy. So this French agent is killed. Graveyard for him. And I'm winning military there. Alright, time for a French action. Another agent go to military, and that's another imprisonment. He goes to prison because he killed General Yaquez Masu, I guess. All right, damn. Will I win anything in this game? All right. So I was hoping for a combo, but I'm gonna put this supporter there, face down for now. French, French supporter goes to any. Okay, let's see how the how the automa do with the supporters. Front where FLN has three or more cards than French. Nope. Front with the most French cards. Okay, so there are two that can go there. Front with the most French icons. All right, so that would be here because he has three. So these supporters go to political. I'm not gonna win political, definitely. And I need to watch out. Eight or more icons in the front where perhaps I, I'll have to put some icons here. I lose the game immediately. There are already five icons there. Three more and that's a game loss. All right, here's a little combo I wanna do. I'm gonna play this to political, face up. So I can hide one guy, so I'm gonna hide. Oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Let's do it differently. Uh, let's play in diplomacy, this guy here face up. And I'm gonna draw one card. Actually, do I wanna draw? No, I don't wanna draw a card. Let's, let's play him face down for now. Okay, French agents go to political. That's another icon. Imprisonment, and uh, well, he can only imprison guys that uh, flip up, so nothing happens there. But recruitment, he's gonna draw two cards and then play one which is most useful to him. Oof, I don't like these. This can, kill, well, this can't kill anyone. It can kill two guys in the prison. This can bomb and expose. All right, and it's a military, so it would go here. So this is not useful unless he want to clear a prison. In that case, what do I want to do here? Card in the front with the most cards. I would say this is the time when I have to choose random. So let's use the dice. And it says in the rules, like, 
do a random. So this would be 1 to 3 and this would be 5 to 6. Yeah. Actually, I think this is more useful to him because he can at least use one of these icons. He can expose one of my agents. All right, let's let's do it like that. So this is military. It's gonna go here. So let's see when he's exposing top post card in its front. So he's gonna expose this guy. Uh, icons are resolved from left to right. Why well, before he, he exposing he can actually bomb. Uh, let me see when bombing stuff. Cards with the most icons, but now they are both the down all right so he can't use bombing but he can at least expose me so flipping as i said icons are done from left to right so this is this wasn't useful but he could use at least one while with this card he two attacks he couldn't use any of those all right in that case this is the time to play a little combo so i'm gonna play this in political here I'm gonna hide one of my supporters back and then I'm gonna get a card from a prison which can be I think immediately played let me just check jailbreak place an F1 card in prison back into its front face up or face down if face up yeah I can immediately use action so let's see who we want to get from a prison so I need to put some guys in political but I also want to attack someone in military. So, uh, Ali Laponte will be released from prison. I'm going to play him here in military. I'm going to kill the French agent, this guy, because he has two icons. So, Colonel Marcel Bigard is gone. And uh, rally icon is right now nothing for me, but that's it. Okay. Back to French. French supporters. Uh, let's see. They go. Where I have three or more cards? No. From with the most French cards. Oh, that's gonna be here. Two. I think I just lost the game. Let me check. Two, four, six, eight, nine against my two. So he has seven more icons than me. So one more and I, I will lose the game if I don't put someone here. And that's a political front. Damn, and I don't have... Ooh, but I can play this. Okay, time to show you how the bombing works. So I'm gonna play this in military, face up. And now I have a bombing option. I choose a region. This is where these region number come into play. Two, six, five, five. One. So I'm going to choose the region number 5, which means both of these are going to get attack. And I'm going to roll dice number of those cards. What I'm looking for is uh, 4, 5 or 6. That's a hit. 3 is a reroll and 1 or, or 2 is just a mist. Come on, let's kill some supporters and this uh, Jacques Sostale. This is what I like about this game. It's it's very thematic team. It's kind of simple card game, but you can see a team here, how it's coming. So he came, they have some political meeting with his supporters, and I'm trying to bomb them with, the, with this lady here, Zofra Drift, which was a bomber in, in real. Two hits. Wow. French suffer large defeat in the political sphere. <laughs> All right. So back to five against two here. All right, now the French. So they send Pierre Jean-Pierre in diplomatic front and he's gonna attack. Okay, where did he wants to attack? Cards with the most icons, cards in the front with the most cards. So I guess he will attack here and that's two attacks so he will kill uh, Ali La Pointe in Zohra, they, uh, so they die for Al Algeria. Damn it! Just when I was thinking I was getting so. Alright, I don't have any more cards, which means I'm gonna draw back to five. 
and continue playing so let's see some supporters more supporters okay this guy can get me someone out of prison more cards diplomacy recruitment uh, recruitment would be good and that's a political okay and those only one icon sadly okay let's play this guy face up in the recruit and let's recruit so basically draw two cards and then choose one to play uh, if I remember correctly that's how it works let me check recruit draw two cards and play one immediately yes all right it's good to have a rule book here Ooh, maybe some more bombing or a little combo someone get someone from the jail and then recruit Ooh, I, I want to play this event the Algerian question okay so this goes on the bottom let's play this one first of all who do I want to get from jail Oh, some supporters, definitely. And play them uh, face down in the political section. And then I have a recruitment, so I draw again two cards and I can play one immediately. Ooh, hiding. I can hide these two. Or I can attack and hide. Okay, let's keep this for later. So I have this FLN event, so play it here my discard. Uh, who do we want to kill? Let's kill this French agent, agent Pierre Jean Pierre, that, bam, and then let's hide this FLN agent. Let's hide Saudi Yasef hidden there. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Back to French. French agents gonna do some recruitment. This guy goes to diplomacy here. So drawing two and using those with them. Well, it's gonna be definitely this one. Let me just check where he's gonna put these supporters. Uh, hmm, front where I have three or more cards in French. No such front. Okay, then front with the most French cards. There are two. Uh, front with the most French icons. Okay, so that's gonna be here. So they're gonna go here. All right, so uh, let me just check. Okay, how do you? Okay, uh, if you hold a shift and alt, and that's for those people who use tabletop simulator, you can actually check the cards uh, without flipping them, and that's that's used when you're playing against other player and you don't want to expose, you know, cards. So I have a three here, four, and a two. That's a six against five, eight. He has an eight. But he ha doesn't have eight more than me. And lots of those cards then can, you know, sway the... So I need to do something there. Let me see what I can do. So I can put my two supporters. Get someone from jail. I think I'm going to use my supporters, to be honest. I'm going to put them here face down. Let's keep this political fight... So military, let me check on military, no one's winning there, political kind of, re really big political fight here. Okay, time for a French. Ooh, bombardment, and this is a French event, so it goes to this card. Okay, so let me see targets. Cards with the most icons. So what's exposed? Uh, this guy, well, he's the only one they can actually target. But if I remember correctly, once they bomb, then they flip two more cards. Let me check. Okay, if any hits are all, opponent flips all cards in that region face up. Ooh, so you, if he hits this guy with this bombardment and he has two bombardments, all of these are going to be flipped. All right, let's check it out. So I'm going to roll first one die. Uh, that's a miss. And then another napalm attack and that's a hit so he's gone and everybody here is gonna flip up seven against eight i'm losing there by one all right well let's change that let's play this guy here add one more card and who do we want to get from prison 
Well, definitely this agent, we're gonna play him. He's a political, so let's play him face down here. All right. So I'm good with the politics. Let's see the French. Guy Molet go to political front here. He's gonna expose. So I think top most card in its front. Yeah, so he's just gonna expose this guy. And then he's go it's gonna be drawing two cards and using one of them, which give him better options. Oh. All right, so both of them are kind of good. So I think this is the time where I have to use random selection. So one to three, four to six. Four, so this will go bottom and this will be played. It's an event, so it goes directly to this card. So someone's gonna get killed. Cards with the most icons. Well, these supporters gonna die. And then they're gonna expose, uh, exposing. Topmost card in its front, uh, its event, so no card in front with the most cards, no. Random, well, so one of these two, so let's roll a dice again. One to three, four to six. And they expose my key cream bell cam. Oh, I'm probably butchering these names. But once they are flipped, oh, by the way, I totally forgot. When all these cards are flipped, I think I could use their icons. Okay, let's go back a bit before I do this. So we, we are going back to, the, to when they killed that guy. So it was something like this. Uh, this guy wasn't there yet. So, this will do nothing. I play this. So I guess I can hide someone. Uh, I would say I would hide these supporters. And then I can get someone from jail. And let's say I got this guy. He's a diplomacy. So let's put him face down here. I totally forgot when all the cards flip. Uh, that you can actually use that action. So this is this would be the situation. So, now, back to French. So, they are killing one guy. They killed this. Uh, no, that was from bombing. So, let me see. Attacking. Car with the most icon. So, there are two of these. So, he's not sure. Card in front with the most cards. Uh, so, that would be this one. Cards in the front with the most cards. I would say top most is always attacked first. So, they kill this guy. Let's shift everything a bit like this. And then they will expose again. Exposing topmost card in its front. No card in front with the most card. This is here, so they will expose this. And I don't these icons will not grant me any action. They're just supporters. Alright, so that's the situation actually right now. And let me check. So five, seven, ten against five. Okay. I, Still not more than me, but um, how many? Okay, I, I have a three here against three. I need to do something in the diplomatic sector. Well, putting two more supporters here face down in diplomatic sector would be good. All right, back to French. Ooh, he goes to military and then attacking two. Again, cards with the most icons, so these these are gonna die, and then cards in the front with the most cards. Uh, that would be here because they are exposed. I guess again topmost card. So I'm I'm losing supporters killed by these Raoul Salam, which was a founding member of anti-independent terrorist group. So he was doing his job really good. And let's check did I actually lose the game right now. So I have a three against three, five, eight, ten. So that's a seven against my seven more than me. So one more and I could lose there. Oh, well, I can only play this guy in diplomacy. 
but I can draw a card at least so let's place play him here actually I don't want to do that let's play him here face down because I'm gonna get five cards anyway but now the big reveal if it's political I'm gonna lose the game oh no those are friend supporters and I know where they're gonna go uh, front where okay no more than three cards uh, oh wait wait a minute so it says fr front where FLN has three or more cards than a French oh I don't have such front no I uh, then front with the most French cards these supporters will sway the political and now we have three five eight ten eleven against my three that's eight more icons than me and that's gonna be the end of game immediately for me sadly I lost the political front I was good in the diplomatic uh, military was kind of I wasn't winning there but I wasn't even lose I would probably get something so sadly we didn't manage to get independence for Algeria we lost by the political all right now my feedback immediately so I don't want this video to be too long as you can see quite thematic game uh, done with just the cards this is a perfect uh, I wouldn't say filler game because I think with the two player there will be like uh, lots of sadly I, I play the solo but I, I can feel that with two player game there will be lots of tag of war on these three fronts and some kind of a you know covered actions by FLN I kind of feel that FLN is a bit uh, maybe needs a bit okay that's because I lost <laughs> but but this automa is quite brutal uh, kind of feel that FLN needs need to have some more <laughs> cards with more icons <laughs> but that's just me telling because I, I'm kind of grouchy because I lost the game anyway I really like it uh, quite uh, as I said team is just so good and these combos that you can pull off sometimes now you really have to plan it I just play really quickly and uh, I might have done something a bit different but with all these actions and kind of symmetric actions with the French they can you know do some other stuff and getting my people from prison and if you, I guess for the French player would be should I kill those best cars he has in the prison or keep it maybe he will not use it pretty good game I'm really impressed Matt uh, I think you have a winner here this is something you can go to publisher and just without any problem get published because you know small deck of cards carrying with you whatever you want playing two player or solo I actually like a solo uh, it's quite brutal but I like it because it's like that designer said he's gonna do some more tinkering I think it will be pretty minimal it's already just uh, you know a uh, superb game and uh, that's it for my feedback good luck with your design I hope you find a publisher uh, if you need me to you know send you this file if you like this although I messed up your icons but who know maybe at, at least it's good for if you if you go to publisher with something like this and show it it's it's gonna win them already like at least 40 percent it's gonna be win they're gonna check this and say oh but this looks pretty good and it plays good maybe we don't even have to you know do some changes although uh, lots of these uh, images are like in public property some of them are not so uh, for instance in the in the contest you can't use them so as I said this is just a little version for me because I wanna I, I like my blinger how they call them in America I like my uh, to represent the game how I would like to game for to look you know on the table and everything in any case that was a bit different thing you know helping a fellow designer to so you can uh, you can check this game if you go to BGG I can actually put a link on the video you can go directly there uh, you can download uh, simple uh, print and play use his of course uh, as I said, I'm gonna give options for this uh, for designer game. Just take this file and do whatever you want with them. It's my little present because why not? I mean, we are there to help each other. 
and that's how BGG works. And uh, as I said, check this game. If you go to the contest, definitely vote for it. Uh, this is one of the games I'm definitely gonna vote. And I need to check some other games. There are lots of games in the contest, but I don't think I can check all of them because uh, I can do the stuff where I have files, so maybe I can make a TTS mod. I cannot print stuff, sadly, because it's uh, kind of expensive. And some last time when I printed here, they, they messed my whole printing uh, batch, so I'm not satisfied with the with things here in Montenegro. <laughs> all right, so. That's the video. Thank you for watching. Put a like. It's not just for me. It's for Matthew also and his awesome game. And see you next time. Goodbye.